Hey guys, RC here, back with episode two with our second club. Uh, so today we're going to kind of go into a little bit more. Uh, we've got some transfers. Uh, I'm not sure when the transfer window ends, but uh, you ever had one of those days where you just don't quite do anything right? Will you quit tearing stuff up back there, please? Thank you. Uh, yeah, you, ha you ever have one of those days where you just don't quite do anything right uh, so yesterday I was playing ahead trying to get some transfers going and playing the downtime of the season to get to this point and I just had one of those days and it really it's it's <laughs> I've already screwed up the team for the entire season so let's just leave it at that uh, you'll see it when you see it so let's start looking so last episode we took the new job right we uh, had one match left, the second leg of the relegation playoff, which we then won 6-0, 7-0, something like that, right? Uh, what did we win that? 7-0, yeah. Woo um, so we won 9-0 on aggregate. Uh, that was a home game, 5,900 in attendance. Uh, only 169 away fans, so we had a nice turnout. Uh, if we look at our friendly that we just played, we won 6 nothing. So two matches under my tutelage, we have won 13-0 to zero with two clean sheets. Is it a sign of things to come? I'm guessing not. But anyway, so we're getting into it. We're going to play San Jose today. Um, let's see. I want to... I want to bring in real quick. Let's look up. Uh... No, nope. and this would be in Bolivia. There we go. So the club's name is the University of Sucre, which is the capital of Bolivia. A lot of people think it's La Paz. I thought it was La Paz. La Paz was the only city in Bolivia I had ever heard of, I think. But uh, it's actually Sucre. Uh, Sucre was uh, the city of silver. It was well known for its silver mines. Now there was a point uh, when the silver dried up that the seat of government was moved to La Paz, but the capital remains in Sucre. Uh, so let's see. Uh, it's the University of San Francisco Xavier. The team nickname is the Doctors uh, because it is a medical university, medical and law. Uh, so doctors and lawyers. Um, we should charge a shit ton for tickets, I'm thinking. <laughs> but uh, the university uh, actually owns the soccer team, the football team. So that's interesting. Um, what else? Uh, images. It's a pretty nice looking stadium. Uh, that is not it. Um, all right, so let's go back over here and let's go to here. And it should tell me, does not tell me where they play at. Oh, here we go. Yeah, so there's the picture of the grounds. Can we zoom that in? I don't know. Uh, that's it. That's it. Uh, so it's a multi-purpose stadium I was reading up. So it's, it's, you know, I was mentioning last episode, it's got this kind of, you know, little roller coaster effect to it. Uh, so it's pretty nice, and it seats, what, 32,000 people, 26,000 people. It's got some co some covered seating uh, in the main part of the stands on the sides of the pitch, so that's cool. But, you know, for larger games, you do have the, the end zones. Looks like they use it for running track as well. Uh, I guess that could fill up with water, and you could play, like, inside of a moat. That's interesting looking, but it's a pretty cool-looking stadium. So yeah, so that's uh, that's where we're at. 
again I can't for some reason I can't get Google Earth to work on Windows 10 so I can't pull up and, and look at street views and everything else I can do it on my phone but I don't think you guys want me holding my phone up for you guys to look at on the video so anyway uh, let's get into transfers we've had some interesting stuff happen um, so Eric Araqua, of course he set the record the club re the league record for assists because he had six assists in one game or something like that that uh, that second leg final and then immediately he comes out and says that you know he's not happy he wants to move on and up his game he wants to go play for Boli the uh, club Bolivia uh, Bolivar I'm sorry they're, they're one of the top clubs in the league uh, and I rejected it because he's pretty affordable he's 26 he's a great playmaker and I was actually looking forward to him being here um, so I rejected their offer then he threw a hissy fit and so then I said all right because uh, then I screwed something else up and I said all right I'm gonna kind of need to get rid of some people now so I offered him back out they made an offer at his value which you know again that's the difference between Europe and you know the top clubs in Europe England and the rest of the world nobody else bids above what somebody's worth if they're worth 1500 bucks even though they're they may be a wonder kid you're going to get an offer of 1500 bucks you're not going to get a 30 million dollar offer uh so uh anyway and he rejected the contract so he he bitched to want to go and and bitched some more and we ended up having a team meeting because the team was mad that i didn't let him go <laughs> and yeah he uh i was like really so uh oh that reminds me i need to make another move um we've got offers out on a couple of people uh this guy hiro uh, queller uh he's a 22 year old keeper we've got him coming in on a free at the beginning of february uh so real quick i want to I want to transfer list this guy. He's valued at 23. So yeah, let's go ahead and offer him at 34. So we're going to offer him out uh, because he's going to be our new starting keeper. And uh, let's see. So let's see if you guys can spot the anomaly here. So uh, we moved out Rodrigo Rodriguez. We got 35 and a half thousand for him. And, you know, he played okay for his last year, but he was 31. Um, still had it. I mean, you know, he played, you know, one goal, but that was in the game I coached. So he, he might have been all right. But at 31, and he was making some decent money, uh, I looked at that as a chance to cull the roster a little bit. Uh, we picked up Axel Romero on a loan. He is a center back. He's got good, good physicals. He looks really good physically. Heading, marking, tackling above average. He's six foot two, good jumping reach and heading. I think he's going to be a pretty dominant center back for us. Uh, yeah, this guy. He's currently valued at 225K. He was not valued at that much. And I didn't want him that bad. I wanted him pretty bad. But I had made an offer for, because he was valued, you know, he was end of contract and he was request, transfer listed by request. I made an offer at like 50000 They countered at 500000 I went back to like 60000 and they countered and I hit accept and, and just blanked out and wasn't even thinking. So we paid a quarter of a million dollars basically for him. Um almost a half a million dollars which was our entire transfer budget and he's only making nine thousand a year so <laughs> but he is going to play he's got pretty good physicals he's six foot two he is a true left footer a uh, good decision good leadership so i like i like his abilities he needs to get a little better on the defensive side but i still think with his crossing dribbling 
uh, first touch, he's going to be a solid wing back. And that's, you, you know, if you, you know, if you've watched any of my games, that's typically what I play as an attacking wing back, attacking fullback. So he's our new uh, left back because both left backs we had last season were here on loan. So, um, Brian Sosa, I made an offer on him, but they wanted they made they asked us for like six hundred and fifty dollars a month or five hundred dollars a month. I accepted it, and then they came back after you know. Then I so I, I changed everything, negotiated, and then they came back and raised their request. So I rejected it. And uh, let's see, this guy. We've got an offer out on him. Uh, his contract is up uh, in six months. So we've got an offer out on him as a right winger. So we'll see if we get him. I hope we do. Uh, $83,000 a year. But let's get into today's matches. So as I said, we want our, our friendly against uh, Tequi... I don't know. Tiki? Tiki. That's what I'm going with. Um... 6-0, uh, Equa scored twice, Charmoni scored a hat trick, Juarez was sent off with a straight red card, and then uh, Sadie Flores scored in the 87th minute. That's our new left back that we just got for a boatload of money. All right, so today we are at, uh, we're on the road wearing our home jerseys. That's interesting. Oh, that was another thing. I was looking at their kits, and the uh, they have a third kit. Why is it the third kits are always the coolest looking kits that they never wear? What's the deal with that? I I I don't get it. But they have really nice looking. Uh, they have a lime green away kit, which is okay, but you know it's lime green, not this. It's it's like bright lime green. So uh, we'll see that at some point, I'm sure. And uh, but their their third kit is like a bluish with like some some like design up in the uh, in the shoulder coming into the chest. It's pretty nice looking. So I hope we'll see that at some point. Uh, we've won three, drawn seven, lost four against San Jose Bolivia. Uh, we are slight underdogs on the road. And I tell you what, the one thing we're going to have major issues with is match congestion because have you seen the schedule? I mean, look at this. 16th, 19th, 23rd, 20th. I mean, we're playing like every three to four days, like for the whole year, for the whole freaking year. Because this, we play all the way till November 6th, and then we start up in January. <laughs> That's insane. Insane. Uh, all right, so we've got a staff going. Uh, I guess we can look at that real quick. We'll look at that after the match. Uh, so we're going to let D'Angelo start. Uh, Aragua's on the bench. Uh, Charmoni up top, Maldonado. All right, well, let's see how this goes. Everybody's struggling in match sharpness, but you know what? I have a sneaking suspicion that that won't be a problem long term. Physical condition might become a problem <laughs> at some point. Uh, actually have like 16 players that are against me right now because my reputation is lower than their reputation as a club. So that's uh, something we'll have to work on. We'll just have to get some wins. All right, a set piece and look like uh, looks like a penalty. Oh, boy. That's not how you want to start off. All right, man. Earn your money before I sell you. God. Oh, he blew it right over him. Sebastian Gamata. Saw that American thing that I did. I put that little accent on it to make it sound like I know what I'm doing. I don't. <laughs> All right. Come on, boys. Juarez. Looks like he picked up a yellow for that. Uh, get creative. So we're actually doing well in possession. Oh, pause. 
extended highlights. I had gone to key highlights for the off uh, for that last match, and I forgot to change that back. We do want to see more highlights, not a, not a ton, but we do want to see more. All right, they're breaking us down pretty good here. Ooh, I don't think my keeper would have got that if he would have been inside the post. Ten fouls in the first 30 minutes. Wow. <laughs> We're getting some shots. playing pretty evenly remember that last game last episode we played everything down the right that was so weird all right well this is telling me right away that uh and i don't know where this club is supposed to end up at i think we're playing competitively but we're just not getting the uh, opportunities uh you did well uh, i do need you guys to watch your step so I, you know, I have a feeling that there's going to be a lot of rotation, and I'm already typically usually near the near or at the top of the league on number of players used in a season. So don't be surprised that we're going to see a lot of people. All right, um, da, 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 demand more. All right, Romero up to Segredo. Juarez taps it up to Maldonado. Oh, he lumps it over the top. Charmani heads it just wide. All right, good try. That was a good header. Good header. All right, let's make a sub. Um, I do want to bring him in mid-center. Let's bring him in for Juarez. Um, attacking mid left Rome I'm gonna put you in the shop window for Maldonado encourage crossed in cleared out Sosa right to the keeper come on boys Somebody's up a little early today. All right, Condori, Pachico. Up to Serrano. Bruno Lucas chipped in. Oh, there's a header by Charmoni, his first of the season. Nice cross in by Lucas, the right back. Excellent job. I'm going to praise that. Nine to three on shots. Again, I think we're we're looking okay. We just you know, we just got to pull together here. All right, that's not good. I don't know why. Yeah, I'm gonna have to look at throw-ins. Now, of course, with so many games, I'm gonna pro I'm gonna probably play a lot of matches between episodes. Out left to Sosa. Charmone. Oh my God! What a volley by Charmone! Holy cow! Do we have a real football player on this team? Wow. Look at this. Oh, he just timed that perfectly in a scissor kick volley. Gee whiz. I would have ripped my groin there. He, he might have been a little offsides. He might have been, but it was close. Okay, um, actually, you know, Lucas is dead, so let's bring on Condori, try to shore up the defense, and, oh, I gotta wait for, uh, for that to take place. Alright, we lay it back, shot to the keeper, alright, and, oh, let me pause, uh, in possession, let's go up to some time wasting. All right, Montano, and I knew there was an accent there because it had the little squiggly line on on his letter. 
All right, D'Angelo makes the save. Uh oh, they're putting some pressure now. Set piece, hit it out. Oh, nice slide block there. Good defense. In that friendly that we just won, uh, we outshot them like 34 to 2. I was like, oh, wow. All right, Pacheco. Ooh, he bent it. Bent it wide, so he did not bend it like Beckham. Uh, let's praise him again. All right, Aragua. The one that can't make up his mind. He wants to leave, and then he turns down the offer to leave. I have no idea what that's about. But I am I am spending a little too much money. We'll look at the finances and stuff here in a second. So I had to look real quick to make sure my recording software was covered up. I couldn't see. Uh, Sosa. All right, there's Rome. Aragua. Sosa. Aragua. Oh, he's not being aggressive like he was in the uh, playoff. All right, there's a deep ball. Serrano. I wonder if that's Pedro Serrano's brother. Oh, uh, it's a nice try there. He was looking to drop it back inside. Oh, my God, a defensive header that went to our teammate. Wow. Yeah, we've definitely taken a step up in skill level here. <laughs> All right, Condori. Wasting time. And there it is. Two to one. We picked up an opening victory. Very happy. 16 to seven on shots. Eight. 50% on target. Five long shots. I'll have to look at that a little bit. 708 average rating. Two goals for Charmani. An assist from Lucas and Sosa. Good deal. Did well. Excellent effort. All right. So, Charmani, yes, you were great. Superb in front of the goal. Uh, D'Angelo. Oh, well, I'll talk to him in a little while. Uh, let's look at the finances. So we've got $1.2 in the bank. We got the uh, TV money already. and But you can see uh, we're currently spending $904,000. Committed spending is seven sixty six, dollars And I think what that means, yes, exclude salaries. from. So here's what, another thing that's weird, right? So... Our season started on the 16th, but the end of last season with contracts is not until the end of the month. So we've got all these guys with contracts that expire on January 31st. So we've got eight players that are leaving uh, or that we're letting go. Um I'm letting him go because of his salary. I've got a younger guy that's making less that's equally as good. Um, I had a lot more options here. His age. Is he the one? No, he's Bolivian. I had one guy, one of our veterans, one I gave I had ended up having to give him a free release. He was 34. He came to me and said, boss, I'm really not happy here. I haven't been happy for a while. Uh, I miss home. He was from an, he was from another country. I think he was from Argentina. Uh, and he wanted to go back home. So I said, yeah, fine, go ahead. Uh, at his age, he was probably done anyway. Um, so I guess I've got it. Now the, and these guys are all on loan. That's, that's the concerning part. Um, I may have to go I may have to go back and relook here and try to get one of these guys back on loan. I'd like to get Sosa back on loan if I can. Uh but anyway, 
Uh, let's see what else. Oh, let's take a look at our our staff. Uh, we, you know, it's not filled out immensely. We only have two uh, recruiting, but we're already uh, one of the best scouting teams. Yes, of course. And uh, we need probably one more coach. I don't know if we can afford it. And our assistant coach, Mariano Brow, uh, nine and nine in ability and potential, man management. Um, working with youngsters is pretty good. He's got a really good knowledge of pretty much the entire region, that western region of uh, South America. So uh, hopefully he'll be able to work with us. And uh, so where do we come back? I mean, we want to get to know the team, right? Always ready. That's so funny. Um, I may come back for Sports Boys and Potosi. Maybe. I, you know, none of these mean anything to me. Uh, the Strongest. Isn't that who we played last year in the... No, we played Deportivo Sucar. Okay. So the strongest, I knew I had seen their name somewhere. Uh, so that'll give us a couple of matches. I don't know. I really kind of want to play. But the opening stage goes all the way to here, to May. You know what? I'm going to probably finish out January. And then, yeah, we'll come back for Potosi and Aurora. And then we'll we'll bounce around from there. Uh, so hit the like button, subscribe if you don't mind, and we'll see you guys next time. Take care. Bye.